In this video, we're going to fit the transmission tunnel half that we made in the last video, and we're going to go ahead and get it tacked in place. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Dan and you're watching Resto Car, your source for DIY content to help you finish those builds. And hey, if you're a weekend warrior and you like to restore cars in your free time, go ahead and subscribe because that's what we're all about here on Resto Car. All right guys, so uh, basically I got this thing clamped in and got some longer vice grips holding the back down so that it sits flush there. I then took my hammer and dolly around the edges and just hammered around just to get any, like there's a couple curves and stuff in the firewall and the floorboard and all that. So this just helped kind of make this thing fit a little better. And now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is mark the back sides where the tunnel meets the floorboards. And I'm gonna trim the tunnel so that it sits flush with the floorboards. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll put this in, tack it, and then make the rest of the cuts with the tunnel in the car because it'll be, just be a little easier that way. I don't want to cut the floorboard because I got this overlapping piece here and then it just makes like these weird cuts that I'd have to make. So I don't want to do that. So we'll just trim this flush with the floorboard here and then again, we'll get it in and then we'll cut around everything with it in the car and then uh, kind of just hammer form it that way if we need to. So let's get to it. All right guys, so I got this little scrub here. Uh, basically I'm going to use that. I'm just going to drag it across the back. It'll give me a nice crisp line uh, to cut from and hopefully make this uh, fit pretty nice. All right guys, so I didn't like the way that scrap turned out, just kind of all over the place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go uh, under the car and see if I can get a better one. All right guys, so it was a lot easier to mark it under the car. So you can see where the black marker is. So I'm just cutting straight across here and then we'll do the rest from in the car. We'll just cut through the uh, old floorboard and do this. But I just marked these so I kind of know where to stop it. We'll just go straight across and uh, maybe make a little curve there. It's a little easier to weld curves sometimes instead of like square points. Plus I think it makes it a better weld. Um, then here's the other side. So. Again, we're just gonna cut straight across right there. You can see here we do have a little bit, so maybe I'll come across and then make a new curve here or something. So, all right, let's go ahead and get these cut and then we should be ready to put this in the car. So I got the ends trimmed up, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just clamp it back in place. Just a little tip, uh, whenever you're trying to clamp two butt welds together, a lot of times the uh, pads on the vice grips just aren't wide enough, so take uh, two pieces of scrap metal like this and just put them across the butt welds and then clamp them down. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put a tack, probably two tacks on each side. And then we'll go ahead and cut all this out. And if, and if I have any issues, I can always cut the tacks out, you know, and, and kind of redo these sides. But I want to make sure that these beads stay lined up as I, as I had them. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that. This side's really good. This side, it's pushing out a little bit. So it's gonna be, you know, I'll have to work our magic there and get that tack so it's nice and flush. But uh, we'll go ahead and fire up the welder and get this tacked in. All right guys, I'm going to start on this side because it's pretty much lining up. It's got a nice spot that's already flush. I can just go ahead and put a tack in that. And uh, got a flathead screwdriver here in case I need to pry the panels apart or anything. So go ahead and put about three tacks on this side. And then we'll switch over to this side and put three tacks in. Or two. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, butt weld clamps because I want this to be perfect. All right guys, you guys have probably seen these in my other videos, but you can get these at Harbor Freight or wherever, but these are butt weld clamps that basically pull two pieces of sheet metal together. So they work really good whenever you got nice flat pieces on each side. All 
All right, so things didn't go according to plan. You guys know how it goes. Uh, basically, I couldn't get a tack weld on this side here. Just couldn't get the sheet metal lined up where I wanted it. It wasn't cooperating. So I pushed down on the top, got it nice and flush with the firewall, and I put three tacks across the top right next to the, uh, or right onto the original tunnel. And then I had a little bit of extra slack down here. So I took my cutoff wheel and just cut a nice uh, gap there and finally got the butt weld clamp in and got it tacked. So uh, let me show you real quick and then we'll get on to the next step. All right guys, so you can see here, got the three tacks across the top, nice and tight. And then uh, got the tack down here next to the butt weld clamp. So we're on to the next step. It's coming along good though, I like it. All right, so on with the next step. Uh, basically, I'm going to go ahead and go up both sides of the transmission tunnel and I'm going to follow the new transmission tunnel with the cutoff wheel and basically make a nice gap between the two panels that we can then uh, tack up and uh, then get ready for the step after that. So let's go ahead and get the cutoff wheel and get cutting. All right guys, so now we got the sides all tacked up, so we're gonna go ahead and make the final cut across the top, and then we'll tack across the top, and this thing will be ready to burn in, so let's go ahead and do that. All right guys, so this is all tacked in all the way around. It's looking really good. Uh, it was a little challenging up here and basically the way I tackled that is I just used a flat screwdriver and kind of moved things around and just made a tack every few inches or so and uh, it worked out pretty good. It would have been a lot easier if I could have uh, taken the transmission out and just kind of hammer and dollied that and made a nice transition there but uh, I don't want to take this out because I want to make sure everything fits. So it is what it is and uh, it'll look good. It'll be like a nice transition right there that uh, it'll look good. And you can see here that we got plenty of clearance. So no more concerns about that. Now when we get to this piece, we'll see how it goes, but I, th I think it'll be all right. We got some tight spots like even this piece here, you know. Um, I'm gonna to try to keep this. I think it'd be better to have it, so we'll, we'll kind of shape this however when we get there, but. All right, guys, that's all we have time for today. Uh, if you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel out. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Hit your post notifications so that you get alerts when we post the next video in this series. We'll see you in the next one.